Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys, 3 Series BMW and you guys have all of these codes that I'm going to talk about. Okay, you can see the code shared in the description, uh, in the corner of the video, excuse me, and we'll have them in the description of the video below. I'm talking about code 2E68 or 2E69, P035, uh, P0325, P0330. P1327, P1328, P135B or P1385 guys, all these codes relate to one problem guys and we'll show you guys which one it is, make sure you stay until the end guys. Now I know it's boring mentioning all these codes but any of those codes will relate to a problem with that thing most of the times. Now. Uh, we'll demonstrate on a 6 cylinder N52 engine, but even if you have a 4 cylinder engine procedure may be very helpful and it will help you guys into guiding what is causing that problem. Now, quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically guys on BMWs we make more than 4 to 500 videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. If you guys need to buy any of the parts or tools that we use in our videos or to fix your BMW, check out the link shared in the description of the video below for your convenience. So, what we specifically have here, it's a 2006 BMW guys 325i. This is guys the 6 cylinder N52 engine, but again if you have a 4 cylinder engine procedure will be very similar as well. Problems that we have guys, okay all of these codes that we mentioned, so we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 codes guys that can, cause, uh, that can be caused by those uh, sensors guys, okay and we will explain what it is. First, you will guys need to remove, if you, especially if you have the 6 cylinder engine, I think 4 cylinder is exactly the same as well, you will need to remove the intake manifold, it needs to come out, the whole assembly, if you want to see video from start to finish, we'll have it on the channel and I will try to put the link in the description of the video below, if not, just search on our channel BMW N52 intake manifold removal. Second, before you remove the intake manifold guys, okay, disconnect the car battery because we're really close to positive wires coming from the battery, from the engine starter and the alternator here as well. And you don't want to set your car on fire, burn the electronics or anything like that. It really depends which terminal, battery terminal you disconnect first and reconnect it obviously to positive or negative. We will have a video guys and you can find it, I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below that explains all that and it will teach you guys, okay, on any car the correct way to connect and disconnect car battery. Now, with that being said guys, if you have any of these codes, okay, most likely guys, it relates, okay, 90% of the time, okay, based on our experience, it relates to knock sensors. You have knock sensor 1, knock sensor 2, you have two of them. One is for bank 1, for the first three cylinders, one is for bank 2, those are uh, the second guys, okay, the second two cylinders, as you can see, uh, the second three cylinders, okay, so knock sensor 1 is for bank 1, which is cylinder 1, 2 and 3, knock sensor 2 is for cylinder 4, 5 and 6. So, if you have any of these codes, you will need to replace your knock sensors. Now, practically, you don't even need to care which one it is. Why? Because both of them, you replace them at the same time. Okay, you have to remove that bolt here, one bolt here, and you have to use a special BMW tool, it's called a female torx, I'll show you in a second. And later, this is the connector for the uh, for the oxygen sensors, just disconnect it here and both of them, okay, they come apart at the same time, guys. Okay, you cannot just replace one of them, you have to replace both of them. If you need to buy new ones, we have the link shared in the description of the video below. This is, guys, okay, the tools that you will need to remove the torque, uh, the, the knock sensors. If you want to see how to test the knock sensor, guys, we will have, okay, we will actually have the video on the channel, how to test knock sensor, so check it out, that will definitely, guys, teach you how to do it and for sure if you have a good or bad sensor so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time